I'll do. Time for another beer review. This time we're off to Tetley's for their number four premium lager. This is in a 660ml bottle and it's coming in at 4.6%. So I've had the regular Tetley's bitter in the past and I've had the house cask and the dark mild on cask. Um, they're not the most exciting of breweries I've found in the past but this one jumped out at me in my local corner shop. I think it's, it is a relatively new beer. There isn't a lot of check-ins on Untapped. I know uh, Big Sips just reviewed it recently. So I seen it, it was £2.29. So I thought that's a good price. Um, there's the Tetley Crown. So a cracking size bottle. Um, so yeah, let's see what we get. got golden straw colour decent levels of clarity yeah I can see my uh, reflection going through it steady carbonation going up to a foamy brilliant white head let's get the nose I'm getting like white bread crust a hint of citrus malt coming through Doesn't smell too shabby. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's not bad. It's actually a decent lager. Um, medium body. It's um, moderately carb. Flavour wise, it's mainly bready, getting a lot of like, like I say, bread crusts, slight malt notes in there. The faintest whiff of lemon, but no, it's decent. Um, it's got a good body, it's got a crisp finish. Um, that ain't a bad lager. Um, Comparing it to a lot of the macros that I do on my Friday challenges, it's better than them. So I would happily drink this one. I think for the price, I don't think it's too bad. Um, I think they've nailed it. All right. So yeah, it is a decent lager for me. Um, I don't think Big Sip was the keen, but yeah, quite like that one. Um, I'd happily drink that again. At, at the moment, I've only seen it in the big bottles, so. Um, I don't know what the plans are, whether they're going to go into the four packs or what, but um, yeah, it's decent. That is decent. So it says, it's sort of the lager that's brewed the ale way. Tetley's number four has been brewed in the ale way, whatever the ale way is, for the perfect combination of taste and refreshment using our 200 years of brewing experience. To be brutally honest, I would rather drink this over like a Tetley's bitter. I find Tetley's bitter very bland and boring. I mean, this isn't a a stunning beer but it's um it's it's decent enough it's decent enough like i say better than most of the macros that are out there um I, i'd rather drink this than, i know i keep banging about tetley's i'd rather drink this over tetley's so there you go that is tetley's not tetley's tenants i'd rather drink this over tenants sorry um that is tetley's number four premium lager so thanks for watching and on to the next one ciao